Welcome to the career video series created by the Department of Education's Early Learning Team in celebration of the Week of the Young Child. Our goal is to highlight a few of the many roles in the field of early childhood education. We're pleased to celebrate these amazing people and the important work they do. Today is Artsy Thursday. Art is a medium that brings joy and provides an outlet for creativity and expression. For young children, art is often a rich sensory experience an opportunity for exploration and a source of pride. There's rarely enough room for all the masterpieces young children want to display on the refrigerator art gallery. Today, you will meet Mainers who enrich the lives of children in ways related to art. First, we'll meet Nancy Froelich from Leaps of Imagination in Rockport. Nancy and fellow artists combine nature and art into an interesting program for young children. This is actually our first early childhood program that we have led. Um, we have taught kindergartners before, and we work generally with elementary school children in grades three through five. Our program is dedicated to underserved communities, uh, children who um, whose school experience will, as uh, young children, will, will really empower them for all of their elementary school years and beyond. We bring art and, and, and an integrated art and environmental science program into public schools uh, during the morning. It's a school day program, and we spend roughly an hour and a half twice a week with each group of children working on a program that builds over time. Each program has a big idea, and the ideas are really the context for the art making and outdoor experiences that children have. They get really tuned in and our objective is so that they'll develop a passion for nature and they'll want to ultimately take really good care of it because they feel something for it, not because it's something they should do, but because they're, they're deeply connected. And the art programs that we offer uh, that are synchronized with the nature studies that we do give them a chance to really express their understanding of what they've seen outdoors, what they've touched, what they've smelled, uh, what they've discovered, and they they create pictorial representations. We've used a lot of different mediums from yesterday watercolors when they were making tracks in the snow and uh, to a lot of printmaking. Um, so it's it's all all interwoven into the fabric of, of one overarching theme or big idea, and they see the connections. It's, it's, it's really impressive. I, I was a school head in Boston for 17 years, and uh, the school that I uh, headed didn't have a preschool program, and in 2004, we launched one. So it's really been my passion, and I um, feel very, very fortunate right now to be teaching four-year-olds at St. George School. Can you talk a little bit about what inspires you about working with young children? Um, they're just so, they're so fresh. They're so open-minded. They're so informed to the degree that, that the most adults would never have anticipated the insights that they have and the connections that they naturally make. They dive right into our projects. Um, their attention spans are much longer than anyone would expect, which is, of course, a good thing. We're motivating them and they're grabbing on to the, the ideas. Um, they always have more to say than, than we have time for, and we give them an hour and 15 minutes in the present program. Um, they, they, they're smart and they know they are, and they're proud of what they're, they, they realize, in leaps of imagination that they have an enormous capacity to create, to uh, to create from scratch without um, feeling like they're taking enormous risks. It's, it's all just natural for them. Missy Willie is the pre-K teacher at the Gorham Art Alliance. Yeah, I'm Missy. I'm a teacher at the Gorham Arts Alliance for the pre-K pilot program. So they're all four turning five. I have eight friends in my class this year and we work through the pre-k for me program and also add in a little bit of our weekly themes 
um, pieces about that. And we have art, music, and eco-science each week. So the friends also go to a art teacher twice a week, music twice a week, and then eco-science once a week. So that's part of our program as well. Thank you. What positions or careers have you had in your career journey prior to coming to the pre-K? I was thinking about that and all of it's been education or children related. I nannied for a while while I had my own children and were raising them until they were in kindergarten. And then I got back into teaching once my youngest started kindergarten. So it's always been children related. What drew you to working with young children? Oh, I feel like it's always been part of me. I remember playing school growing up, lining up all my stuffed animals and passing out papers to them. So I feel like it's always been an underlying piece for me. So I feel like that's always been something that I've wanted to do. And I just, I love it so much watching them grow and those aha moments of learning their letters or writing their names, just exciting to see the growth. Can you talk a little bit about what you see as unique about the program at the Goramart Alliance? They enjoy going to a special each day. They look forward to that time out of the classroom and doing art, messy activities, and then singing songs and dancing. And then science, they go and explore um, nature, look at the trees. They're learning about owls or um, tree tapping, whatever is in our season that she works with. And they're so proud of their work. Yeah, it's nice to see a big smile on their face when they're done an art project that they're proud of or learned a new song or they tell you about the trees outside as we go on our nature walk. Just everything that they're soaking in is fun to see the excitement on their faces. Well, what's the best part for you about working with young children? What do you enjoy the most? I really enjoy the partnership with the families. I love, I feel like all the children in my class, I take care of them all day long and um, give them all their, make sure their needs are met. And I want to make sure that I'm providing a safe environment for them all day. And then letting their families know daily communication on how their day went and building that partnership of home and school. Sandy Fortin works for Healthy Maine Acadia, and her focus with children is on nutrition and keeping them active, but she also artfully finds ways to support families and early childhood educators. Uh, my name is Sandy Fortin, and I'm currently living in Winter Harbor in Maine, and my current role has just shifted uh, the beginning of 2023. I am a Healthy Eating Active Living Coordinator for Healthy Acadia, who, and I cover Hancock and Washington counties, still working with early child care schools, school nutrition, and communities, uh, promoting uh, obesity prevention through early child care sites is one of my primary focus areas that I love and have a lot of experience working with kids. Can you talk a little bit about your previous positions throughout your life and what led you to a role where you're working with young children? Yeah, um, so my early roles, I would say this goes way back to many of us maybe babysat when we were younger. So as a teenager, um, starting just babysitting, um, taking a babysitting class and learning how to take care of children. So that became my um, first job actually, which enabled me to buy my first car. Um, so that was very profitable from the early days. And for me, um, it was an evolution of childcare. Um, I started young as having a family and I did want to raise my own children. Uh, so part of that meant that I wanted to stay home with my two daughters and that allowed me to take care of other families in the home. Um, and it worked out to be quite a few years that I was able to do that and over eight families that I actually raised. Uh, that became a really um, empowering 
sort of role for me. Um, as that progressed, I also went to work for a Highland preschool in Hamden with Tammy Campbell, who is an amazing instructor. And the center is really a beautiful center focused on outdoor learning. Uh, um, I was invited to be part of the team, starting with the three and four year olds and um, really loved participating in that organization. Spent, uh, I guess it would have been about eight years working for Highland Preschool. Um, so that was actually most of my training. It was on the ground learning about early child care education through mentoring with um, educators from Highland Preschool who were really well-versed. Um, and at that point, I didn't really think about it as a career for myself so much as just a really great, flexible way to engage with other families and have other children around my own children to raise them in a really positive environment. Um, had a few other uh, interactions that actually connected me with um, other pre-K age children. I was living in Hamden and was participating in the main discovery museum. Um, so during that time, trying to come up with really great programs for early child care educators and ways that they could take young children uh, to learn in a science kind of fun, adventuresome way. What's the best part of working with ch young children and their families? It really does take a village to raise a family. And I mean, I've been watching this through three decades now of that evolution of how families are trying to do the best they can with what they have. And that community is so integral in really creating a successful family and a successful community, right? Um, so for me, it's just kind of being that mentor, that person that they can lean on. And, you know, I think that's kind of how these programs are starting to evolve and these other positions, right? So my position is Healthy Acadia. I'm not working every single day with educators, but I'm there to give them the extra support so that they have the resources and information they need to be successful. Um, you know, whether it's in the school site of providing like water, um, water refillable stations or helping them build a garden at the ECE, or maybe it's ex finding ways to extend recess or have more outdoor recess. Sometimes it's just figuring out, you know, what are they worried about today? What is that childcare provider worried about today? And just getting down to understanding and coaching them through, seeing it from the outside and implementing strategies or simple tips that can help them be more successful each day. Um, that's what I really love doing. It's teaching them those things and having them experience it, use it, and having that aha moment or that ah, moment of, oh, okay, that uh, it's nice to know there is a way to handle this situation. Um, so I, I really enjoy helping people be successful. We hope that you've enjoyed meeting the early childhood professionals in today's video. If you are interested in learning more about positions working with young children, please reach out to a member of the DOE Early Learning Team. We have one more video coming up tomorrow, and if you've missed any episodes this week, you can find them in the playlist.